Yes, they reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it, man. So, we are talking Joe Budden Podcast. We are talking waking up this morning knowing that we're going to get a Wednesday episode, a rebuttal, a conversation, a clapback, pandering, more D-writing. We're going to get all that this morning from Joe Budden Podcast. I wake up, go to Spotify. I can't find an episode. I go to Apple, can't find an episode. I'm like, bro, what's going on here? Then my people is telling me, oh, it's on Patron. Or what Park say, the Patronis. I, let's be real. That's a smart move by Joe Budden. Regardless, if you don't want to pay the 2-5, and I don't mean 50 cents cousin 2-5 from Jamaica, Southside, Jamaica, Queens. No, not that 2-5. The 2-5 to pay to hear what Joe Budden and his squad has to say pertaining Drake and the shenanigans that's been, the shenanigans that's been transpiring for the last couple of days, right? Uh, very much anticipated show. We wanted to hear what Joe was going to say. And for the most part, if you've been listening to Joe for a while, you kind of know where he was, he was going to go with this, right? We know it wasn't going to be too much crazy talk. He, 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 listen, he did let, up, let some stuff out. And, and Drake, man, dog, you a soft-ass dude. Man. You just emotional-ass, soft-ass, Carl Thomas, Ralph Tresman, sensitivity-ass nigga, man. That's what you are, bro. You know what I mean? Now, we know Joe was not going to run from the smoke, but we also know Joe wasn't going to bring too much smoke. I think the most intriguing thing for me was to hear about the DMs, to hear about the fact that Drake jumped out the window by watching the clips, and then he fast forward to watch the full episode and said to himself, whoa, what was I doing? This guy derides me, this guy loves me. This guy bigs me up all the time, where half the culture be looking at him like he's effing crazy. You jumped out the window, Drake. Drake's, Joe says his mom asked him, do you want to take on Drake's pops? Um, now, we do know in the beginning and the end of Joe Budden podcast is the intro where the music at times sets the pace of where the podcast might go, right? Interesting that he set it off with Jay-Z speaking uh, from a segment about Jay-Z talking about hip-hop and how things you can't relate to. It's like Joe was letting Jay-Z speak for him on what, how he felt about Drake with the last couple days when he was, the last part they did. And then I thought also that was very interesting that Joe was playing a lot of Drake music, energy, smart move, smart move, smart move, right? Now, shout out to D-Rez also, he does battle rap. He made a trailer recently about Joe Budden and Drake. In fact, he put me on there, shout out to him. I got two voice marks on there. Shout out to D-Rez right quick, man. I think also, Parks was kind of in his bag today. You really see Parks talk the way he was talking, calling Drake all red and stuff like that. You feel me? But, lo and behold, Drake, Joe loves this dude, man. It's, it's, it's just weird. But then again, it's not weird because I learned a lot today on certain things, right? The thing with Joe, we, we've seen him you know, get at Rory and Maul, get at Tack Stone. So some people are saying, are, is he going to stay in that bag where he's going to come and drink the way he might have came at Tack Stone and, and, and Birdman and all this other stuff? He didn't come that way. That, that wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? Did he let out a few things and displeasures that he have? Yes, he did. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to talk about the DMs in a minute because that's the most interesting thing is the actual DMs that Drake was sending to, to Joe Budden. Um, Ice telling Joe that this is very interesting. Ice telling Joe that he was happy that Drake went in that bag. Not because he was happy that Drake getting at his man. It's almost Ice telling his man, yo, bro, you've been running the, 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 
Jay-Z pom-poms, no, the Drake pom-poms. And that's not your guy. That's not your homie. That's not your friend. Y'all ain't chilling and having dinner in the city and smoking cigars and going to strip clubs. And that's not your man. You may think y'all cool. You could, Joe, you did call him your man a couple times during that. That's my man. That is not your man. And I'm surprised, Joe, but you would not know how to differ, differ, learn the difference between your man and just being, this is just music and this is just EPMD, strictly business. That's all this is, it's strictly business. I made a critique of music and you did say I'm not friend, friends to none of you niggas, even though I don't know if you were pandering to Drake a little bit throughout the years because you wanted an interview and I still feel you want an interview. And at the end of the day, I think these two at some point are gonna make amends. Don't be surprised. If, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Drake goes on his show one day. I just would not be surprised. You know, remember I told you that, right? Then again, he might not. Uh, yeah, so I was telling Joe that was very interesting, man. Was Joe naive thinking that him and Drake was cool? Was he naive to think that? Did he think shit was all sweet? This is my guy. Do y'all talk on the phone like that? Or is he letting you hear his music before before the masses hear it? Those little things I'm looking at, I'm looking at, and it's like, Joe, there was no concrete evidence evidence that was your man. Ice is your man. Parks is your man. Rory, the, the, Rory was your man. Maul was your man. Those are your guys. Joe said when he talks about hip hop, and he's speaking to the younger generation, the people that might not be familiar with him. Um, they speak from a position as one of the best rappers in the world. And whether y'all, however y'all want to slice it and dice it, because all y'all will go straight to pump it up. I keep telling y'all, we don't listen to that. We don't listen to pump it up as Joe Budden fans. But, and Joe said his peers also, I'm not surprised peers have told him throughout the years, yo, you're that guy, you're that dude, you're dumb nice. I keep telling y'all, the man went to Green Lantern show in front of, Freeway, Beans, and Styles P, and Uncle Murder, and, and got busy. He didn't care who was in there. A lot of niggas ain't doing that. Not with the heavy hitters in the building. And I, and I, I, I stand by this. You cannot tell me Drake is a better MC than Joe, but it, 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 I just don't, I don't believe, I, I think you're stupid to say that. I think you're misinformed. I think you're just going on sales talk. When we're talking about lyrics, bars, putting shit together, that you're like, wow, that was dope. How did he think of that? That's what I'm talking about. Joe said Drake has never ignored him. He's always had something to say, and that's true. I don't think, I don't, Drake, how does Drake ignore him? He just went, he wrote a whole novel. Even though Drake was, I mean, I remember when Joe Budden was wilding, when the views came out, Joe, he was wilding with a wife beat, he was doing, he was doing the most. Well, yeah, and that's the thing with Joe. At times, you can't be extra. Maybe it's the delivery behind it. Because I think Averb has that also, where it's a delivery on certain things that he says that may turn people off or make people look at him side eye. Now, this is where it gets very interesting for me. Is Joe talking about a voicemail that he got from Drake, but he did not listen to it yet? That was interesting because he was protecting his peace. And that's true because a lot of times, a lot of you dudes will DM people, man, or, or, or send me something. Oh, somebody said something about you three. I'm not, I'm not going to watch that for what? What you say about me? I don't give up. It don't stop nothing. It's not going to stop from having my opinion. It's not. It's not going to stop nothing I do. Nothing. So I don't go to watch. If someone says, I, I, I barely watch, I, I don't even like kudos because at times, I don't know if people are being genuine or not. We rock with you three. We really rock with you. I don't know if that's how genuine that is. Niggas will say they rock with you today, and then tomorrow they'll hate you tomorrow. So it's like, how do you gauge that? And then the niggas who hated you yesterday love you tomorrow. It's like, okay. But then Joe said Drake ran in his DMs, and it must have been after Drake's. Because I'm telling you what happened. It's clear as day what happened. Drake saw the the, the, the snippets, and, and he, listen, does he have a right to feel the way about Joe Biden throwing him under the bus with 25-year-old girls? Fine. Even though Joe Biden, you really can't be the poster child and talking about getting getting at somebody for dating young women when we've seen you do that also, sir. You can't do that. You cannot do that, sir. You can't do that. 
No, you can't get it at Aubrey for doing that when you've, you've seen you've done that through your career. We've seen you with young tenderonies. Not too fat, not too bony. Yes. You know, grandpa, grandpa voice. But yeah. So, you know, Drake left some, it's, it's, the things that Joe was reading off, they just saw some condescending messages about chicks that he was smashing. And Drake said that, don't talk about my life and ish. Like you're trying to plant some seeds or plant some type of narrative. There goes the word narrative. And turn people against me. Talk about the music and not me smashing 25-year-old chicks. Drake, here's the thing. You're right. Maybe you should not say that, but don't put that in your music then. If you put in those type of bars in your music, people are going to critique a 37-year-old man doing that. That's just the facts. And then he said your nerd co-host can sit and talk about gangster-ish and gangster that. But you know how we get down. We know how you get down. What, Drake? We don't know nothing. We don't know how you get down. We don't know how you get down. When did you talk? When did you become tough? Or is it the people around you or the niggas that you got around you payola, payola these niggas to hold you down? And my nigga, knock it off, son. Knock it off, dogs. We're not doing this. You know how we get down. What do you mean you know how we get down? How do you get down on what? We don't, we don't know how you... Drake, respectfully... No, sir. None of us know how you get down. And if we talk about how you get down, it comes from an insecure place. It comes from a dude that be with a bunch of females that he don't trust them and got insecurity issues. How you get down? How do you get down? We don't know how you get down. And then Joe, you do a Joe, you do a bar breakdown of Drake bars and stuff like that. You know, I get it. It'll hit a little hard if you'd have done that the first time. Episode you guys did last week. Because now it looks like you come from a petty place. Right? I don't know. And Drake DM saying we had a personal relationship. So I'm confused. These personal relationship. I don't know, man. This is just a weird old behavior to me, man. Drake, man, you gotta... Stop being so sensitive. And, and Joe Biden is still pandering for the man still in today. Oh, I like this, this song. I like this song. I'm like, fam. I don't my shit, man. It's okay to say you thoroughly do not like someone's project, bro. It's okay. You know what I mean? So, right, man. It's your boy, three, man. Leave comments on the bottom, man. One.